Hello and welcome to the Powerful African Women podcast. The podcast to empower the power in you. I'm Aisa And I'm Sarah. And welcome to a new episode of our POW series, new format. Yes, welcome. And I hope you like it. You know, we did the first video and um, yes. obviously it's a new format. So just let us know what you think about it. And yeah, we're excited. Yes. And just follow us on YouTube. I don't know how you call that. Yeah, YouTube. Not even YouTube, Instagram for the people who just joined Instagram. Too. Yes, that too. And not Facebook. But yeah. <laughs> okay. On Facebook. Yeah. yeah, so today yeah, we talk talking about a different topic, obviously. Um, I want to ask questions. We always start with the fireside chat, as always. So I want to ask you, I settle some questions and yeah, just answer yes. as quick and as truthful as possible. So, yes, I'm ready. First, are you a people pleaser or do you know when to say no? Uh... I would say that I'm a people pleaser. Yeah. But I'm trying to change <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I, can, I think yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think definitely, at, before, it used to be a time where I used to be a people pleaser. But, yeah, mm -hmm. now I'm like a big, I know, like, I don't care as long as I protect my boundaries, you know, I don't care. But, okay, yeah. second question, um, are you passive, aggressive, or do you like to speak up? Like when I was at oh, I you speak, speak up. up, right? Yeah, I do speak up. Yeah, for me, <laughs> I know. I love how she's saying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, and then for me, it's the opposite. We very opposite because ah, yes. you know me too. I can be, I can be passive aggressive. I am trying to be better at speaking up, but definitely I'm a passive aggressive. And it depends again on the relationships, right? But anyway, yes. so these whole like these questions are bringing the topic of the day which is boundaries mm -hmm. uh that topic actually came very funnily because i was watching this show like it's harlem it just came on uh, amazon prime and yeah they were talking they were talking about like very young and you know like just very interesting topics and then that specific topic came up, you know, and then I was like, yeah, I think we should definitely mention it in the podcast. Okay, so basically, I, I'm going to talk about my personal story first. But since I grew up, right, I'm always labeled as emotional. As okay. aggressive. Sometimes I used to be labeled as aggressive. Now I decided to pass, <laughs> like, to put that behind me. But, and also, I used to be very overreactive. I can still be very overreactive okay, yeah. depending again on who and what triggers me, right? And then the same way too, like, I myself, I call myself intense. Like, I tend to overdo, like, especially when it comes to romantic and, like, family relationships, right? Mm -hmm. But one thing I realize is, like, when you overdo something, you tend to lose interest after reaching a certain yes. point, right? You, you keep doing it, then you're like, like there's nothing else you want to do right like when i reached that point i realized that sometimes like to deal with my emotions i either bypass and bypassing mm -hmm. is like being a little passive aggressive or i shut down and that's how i dealt okay. with my emotions right but then i realized that something that i needed to do was setting some boundaries because before like there was not that clear communication about, I guess, what I was expecting from others and what also, like, like others expect of me, if it makes sense. So I used to maybe give mm -hmm. too much and not receiving enough, which would make me continue to give more. Right? Yes, yes. A, a little, yes. We talked, we talked about, about it on about our it. Exactly. episode. But so yeah, that's why, like, I kind of felt yeah. connected to that one because I was like, I had a topic in mind going towards the same um idea yes but yeah so i think like we need as people right we need to set some boundaries just because they also um help us maintain those great relationships whether it's at work or mm -hmm. like with our loved ones and also like on the long term create just our happiness right 
why is it important to have boundaries? Aisa, to let me know. Tell me. Oh, I think it's for your sanity. Yep. It's meant everything is about you. Like boundaries is for you yep. and your mental health and your energy. I think just to be able to like live and be able to like, you mm -hmm. know, be okay in everything you do, you need to kind of yeah. protect yourself. And it's like, exactly. you know, to build a house, you need walls. For me, for as, as a person, those walls are the boundaries and it's, it's key. Yep. Yeah. You said it, you know, because it's like sometimes when you don't have boundaries, uh, you don't know how much you're putting into mm -hmm. others, right? And when those boundaries are not set, the result is you're just going to be overwhelmed. Yes. And then next thing, at least I know myself, I'm just going to withdraw. That's something yeah. I do a lot. I sometimes withdraw, I shut down and I become petty, which is really the ultimate. You don't want to see my pettiness. So <laughs> boundaries, right? I, I, could, I, I would also say that um the the type of the i mean the boundaries um you you need also to define how how wh what's the length of that of, of those boundaries yeah and the and the yeah. impact of because sometimes you can have i think you can have too much boundaries that can also happen yeah meaning that can too actually, close um, to some yeah. time like being like okay i'm not gonna try that i'm not gonna do that i'm not you know i'm not just the walls are yeah. too thick and then you are also not experiencing some stuff. I think that's one of the things that can happen. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. That's very true. But that, I guess, it depends, right? That's a conversation you also have to have within yourself, right? In terms of, like you said, what, to what extent is it actually harmful to have those boundaries, right? Yeah, but that's a conversation you really have to have within yourself. But um yeah like me the boundaries i want to talk is is mostly with the people like interacting with other people and most of the time it's actually boundaries of that other people are cross are like are crossing of expectations that other people have on you and since there was no boundary defined they just think it's okay to ask too much of you or also you yourself since you didn't define those boundaries it's okay for you to give too much. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? I don't know if you understand yeah. what I mean, right? And I feel like some people who usually do that, all of, most of them are people pleaser. Yes. <laughs> people pleaser or something also, like I had a discussion with Adley, one of my sisters, is sometimes in our society, right? It's kind of like you are just expected. Mm to give up some things for yourself just so that you can be there for other yes. people yeah right so you they expect that you sacrificing yourself and saying no but you are also saying no to something really meaningful to yourself just so that you can be there for yes other people. yes so you know what yes. i mean like in our culture sometimes that happens the sacrifice a lot. Yeah. and yeah i just the sacrifice right and that's why I was like, it's really just important to have those boundaries. Sometimes it's hard to have those conversations with family, but you need them. You have also to help yourself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So now, like, we kind of talked a little bit about boundaries, and then you have an idea of really if you need to set those boundaries or not. We can talk more about what do healthy boundaries look yes. like. Okay. Right. So, tell me, I said I like to ask questions always. Yeah. What do you think healthy boundaries look like? A good boundary is one that is where where you are able still to like bring let let someone bring something to you, and not I mean still keep your sanity and your principle and your mm -hmm. you being okay. So. I mean, if you think, if you take, for instance, being in a relationship and having boundaries is, is knowing when to stop, uh, knowing what mm -hmm. you can accept, what you definitely cannot, and what you should be like, oh, okay, I need to, you know, to change that. So having healthy boundaries is just having, I, I would say, 
it's like having a, a, a healthy wall, but a wall that is, I don't know how to say that in English, but une membrane. Um, mm -hmm. Like, you know, those kind of yeah, I so I know flexible. It's kind of, I forgot. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not a wall. It's something where you can exchange stuff, but still it's mm -hmm. something that is, it's like a plastic wall. I don't know how to say that, but just yeah. some something that is strong enough that you can let people or that relationship get into or that thing get into but that doesn't suck mm -hmm. your energy that's that's it for me exactly that you really said it it's much of like first of all putting yourself first yeah right and yeah like creating an environment where um like why you can flourish and you can achieve your goals and dreams mm -hmm. right and these boundaries they help us like they help you they help us understand that what like what is okay and what is not okay and again if there's not that clear communication people sometimes don't know so stating those boundaries out loud also just help you like making sure that everybody is clear on that so boundaries like they can also create trust especially whenever it comes to relationship like it creates happy relationships right so like because like first of all even if people don't know you or like they don't like you they don't like what you do at least they know that they have some respect for you because they know the boundaries you set for yourself and they know that you have at least like you have uh, like some integrity one other thing right is about it generates safety not only in relationships again but just overall like within your family within your friends you yes. are safe because you're also safe to be yourself your privacy is respected which is something super important to me you know and you are more likely to feel yeah. right you are more likely to feel appreciated you are more likely to be validated right so now that, I, I would yeah. say maybe the only thing that is hard like the hardest part of boundaries is um l knowing what your boundaries are and to get there you need to really do a really profound work yeah. to know who you are because some people we're gonna try to push your boundaries you know some people <laughs> are gonna i love the way your face was like push your boundaries. yeah <laughs> yeah i mean I i'm just thinking about something really stupid but whenever you're young you know that person tell you oh you know you need to try that because it's yeah. so cool but you know deep inside that it's not you but you still do it that is not okay because you you should have that boundary but I, I feel like with age you maybe learn more about who you are um what you are what it's what you can accept what you cannot and it's really like founding the your boundaries is really about learning to know yourself yes and yes. and actually and actually you know the, the toughest part is that those boundaries you sometimes you can think that you have that boundary, but actually it is not. That boundary was given to you by society, by your family, by and, and, and you think you're okay with it, but actually you're not. you're not. So you're kind of feeling like lost because you have like, oh, okay, this is, okay, this is what my family or my society is expecting my boundary to be. Mm -hmm. And this is what I expect my boundary to be. But whenever this event is happening, I don't know how I should react. You know, mm -hmm. should I react according to my family or my mm -hmm. tradition? Uh, boundary or what like I think how is being I mine. exactly be my exactly. boundary and yeah like you said it has yeah. to be a work like of you knowing yourself and yes. you knowing what you want again and what you don't yes. want it's very yes. important yes yeah. But still, so, that shouldn't stop you from trying to learn new things. So obviously. it's really about find it's it's really about finding the right balance. Once yeah, again, <laughs> it's it's about the right balance. But yeah. yeah, like I think again, those boundaries. I'm talking more on like when people are overstepping your space. Yes, yeah, right? you're right. Or like people, like are you not being yourself? because of yes. the environment around you or because of the yes. people around you right so yeah. this is really what i'm talking about more because that will make a big difference and by setting those boundaries whether if it's in a relationship and you have people involved into your relationship you mm -hmm. have to set those boundaries you know with your significant other 
or with yeah. your family if it's you you know and having a certain uh conflict with your family it's like them knowing what you expect from them and then having that communication mm-hmm. right okay. it's just very yeah. important yes so, like yes. um mm-hmm, pretty right <laughs> ah thank you <laughs> <laughs> okay so um so how can you set boundaries how can you set boundaries that's a question that I, whenever, you know, it first came as a topic from that Harlem show, I was really thinking about it. I was like, how can I actually set boundaries? Which, so far, I haven't had an issue, but even for, like, with my sister that I was talking about, I was like, how can she set boundaries? You know, or mm. family, friends, how can they set boundaries into their relationship, right? One thing, obviously, I think it's always a key, I guess, in everything is communication. You have a clear communication yes. mm-hmm. with whoever party, like whatever party is involved. So if it's family, have a set communication. If it's with your loved one, have a set communication, right? Because the thing is, like everyone, like when everyone knows how to what to expect from each other, like it just clears, like mm-hmm. and you know, like it it clears any unset, yeah. I guess, like expectations. But it also just saves you from confrontation, which is yeah. very important, right? Second thing is set clear consequences. That's something that is not always mentioned, but setting clear consequences, it's like, I already have my boundaries. If those boundaries are not set or like are not respected, this is what's mm-hmm. going to happen. And having also those consequences actually vocalized and communicated yes is gonna help with people respecting yeah. those boundaries because or yes. like because if it's not respected you take your action and yeah. the responsibility will be on them right yes yeah leading Definitely. to my third point which is taking responsibility and accountability whenever i say that it's more of like if you know you messed up fix your shit mm. you know mm. like if you know that or that other person knows that they really maybe made you feel uncomfortable take responsibility into and now acknowledge it and taking it like and making a change yes you yeah. see because i feel that like it's it's something that people don't always practice because of the idea of being taken for granted or taking people for granted until it's too late. And, and I think this comes from the fact that sometimes, because whenever you, you, need, you, you know, you, you need to say sorry or like, you know, re- recognize that, so- that you did something wrong is because maybe you thought your boundaries were somewhere, but actually they are not. For instance, whenever your relationship with a guy and you you do like he he does something Mm -hmm. and then you feel really offended because you feel like he hasn't like he stepped over your boundary but actually you know whenever you calm yourself you realize oh actually my boundary wasn't here it was actually here i may have overreacted you know and i think that that's something that is really important it's like take that time you know to think to think really and before reacting yeah before reacting and that's just because sometimes you overestimated your boundary actually it's here i actually like that overestimation of boundaries sometimes yeah another point actually um to mention Mm. is expecting your boundaries to be challenged right because for some of us i i think that we know we have a like generational expectation or struggle that needs to be let go of right Mm -hmm. and setting those boundaries for yourself will be seen as wrong even if you do you know like a lot you'll still be as wrong like seen as wrong for people so just expect those boundaries to be challenged um yeah like um i think my last point actually is no (laughs) is i love that so (laughs) yeah no it is I like that because I feel like yes. I really learned to say no 
you know, before I used to be like a big people pleaser. I still feel like to some extent I am, but I try less and less to yes. be that, right? And no, it's a full sentence. So you don't have, you know, like you don't mm-hmm. have to prove or like yes. to justify your no to anybody, right? It's also your boundary. Mm-hmm. You say yes. no because you cannot. <laughs> I so agree. The power of the no. And that's all. So, yeah. It's really the power of the no. It takes a while to be able without to feeling no guilty, no, regret, without feeling uh, yeah, any hard. guilt. But but listen, once you learn to do it, <laughs> I you love it. Let it go. Sometimes it's like <laughs> I need to stop saying no. You know, Loved it. but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so just saying again define your boundaries if you need to whenever you feel like it and make sure people respect it or else you know set yes consequences and thank you i love it thank <laughs> you so much and see you next time uh, and in the meantime time. don't forget Cheers. to bring out the yes the bye-bye f- goodbye <laughs>